Let me review some important terms. You need to understand the difference between hypoxemia, hypoxia, and ischemia. Hypoxemia means a low oxygen content of blood. Hypoxia means a low oxygen delivery to tissue, and hypoxia can be caused by hypoxemia, but there are other causes as well. And finally, ischemia is a special type of decreasing oxygen delivery to tissue, and that's caused by a loss of blood flow. So, when the blood in the body has a low oxygen saturation, in another word, a low saturation of hemoglobin or a low PaO2, and that is the definition of hypoxemia. And as I mentioned before, hypoxemia can cause hypoxia. However, you can have hypoxia without hypoxemia. In another word, tissue can be deprived of oxygen even when the O2 saturation of blood is normal. So at the bottom, I listed common causes of hypoxia. Hypoxemia is definitely one of them, but there are other three causes that you need to know, and those are heart failure, anemia, and carbon monoxide poisoning. So this slide, I summarize the causes of hypoxia. In hypoxemia, you have reduced O2 content of blood as well as reduced PaO2 and percent saturation. In heart failure, the O2 content, the PaO2, and oxygen saturation are all normal. The blood is being oxygenated just fine. The problem is blood flow. In anemia, you have reduced O2 content of blood because of a low hemoglobin level. However, the PaO2 and the oxygen saturation are normal. And finally, the carbon monoxide poisoning, the oxygen content is reduced, the PaO2 is normal, and the percent saturation is reduced because of the carbon monoxide is blocking the binding sites for oxygen. But I put some asterisks here just to remind you that the detector may report a normal O2 set in the setting of carbon monoxide poisoning.